people are not going to believe that this was not made from scratch. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Baking with Becky. For those who are new to this channel, my name is Rebecca. I'm a qualified nutritionist and I'm the founder of The Carrot Campaign. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to elevate a standard cake mix recipe into something gourmet, delicious, and extra nutritious. By working with some high quality ingredients like pasture raised egg, I'm also going to um, play with, around with some fresh blueberries, some poppy seeds, and some chia seeds, which will add a nice texture and boost the omega-3 fatty acid content, so it'll be extra healthy. Chia seeds is one of the many egg substitutes available in baking, which you can read more about on my blog, carrotcampaign.com, Egg Substitutes for Vegan Baking. I'm going to be playing with a standard lemon cake recipe, but I'm going to change it into a lemon poppy seed blueberry. Instead of doing a layered cake, I have these little mini bunt cake cupcake pans. So we're going to be working with that. And for our little mini bunt cakes, I'm going to make a homemade vanilla lemongrass glaze. Doesn't that sound delicious? So to get started, we're going to follow the instructions on the back with a few modifications. We're going to use a cup of water, a third cup of vegetable oil, and instead of three eggs, we're going to do two eggs with one tablespoon of chia seed with three tablespoons of water. We're also going to work with poppy seeds, which will be a great way to hide the chia seeds and a little bit of fresh blueberries. If you want to make it entirely from scratch, check out my recipe section at carrotcampaign.com. For our glaze, we're going to use two cups of powdered sugar with a couple tablespoons of softened butter, vanilla, lemon zest, and a couple dashes of lemongrass essential oil. We're also going to need a fourth of a cup of cold whole milk or half and half. While your oven preheats to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, go ahead and grease your pan with softened butter and then a fine dusting of flour. We're going to start first with the dry ingredients and then we're going to add a cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, sunflower oil being used here, and then we're going to go ahead and crack two of our eggs. Remember, our third egg is going to be one tablespoon of chia seeds soaked ahead of time in three tablespoons of water. You're going to get a nice jelly structure out of that. It's good to use an egg substitute for one or two eggs of your recipe, not the whole amount. After we've blended it all together, we're going to add poppy seeds to help mask the chia seed texture. These will complement each other very well. No one's even going to really notice the chia seeds. And then just go ahead and give it a nice stir. Once again, remember to grease your pans before adding any batter. Fill the pans about halfway full as they will expand. I filled a little too high and you'll see later where I went wrong, but go ahead and put the batter in and add a couple blueberries as a nice surprise. We're going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. While our mini bunt cakes bake, it's time to start our glaze. In the bowl, I already put a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two drops of lemongrass essential oil, and three tablespoons of softened butter. I'm going to add powdered sugar and milk in small increments to get my mixture started. Once you've combined everything and it's all nice and smooth, you're going to have a nice lovely glaze looking like this. You're welcome to add some chia seeds and poppy seeds to the mix. The chia seeds will help thicken the glaze and the poppy seed will add some nice texture. You want to make sure they're fully cooled before attempting to remove from the tray as they can be quite delicate. Usually a silicone spoon or spatula pressed around the perimeter before removing is a good trick to help them come out in one solid piece. The ones you're able to salvage, go ahead and top with fresh blueberries. And then we're going to go ahead and start with our glaze. I prefer to drizzle in small increments 
and then slowly, gradually add more and more until it's fully coated and drenched in sweetness. Don't they look delicious? Don't they look adorable? And there you have it, our little lemon poppy seed piece of perfection. I am happy how adorable it came out. The little mini bun cakes makes it so cute. I hope I was able to show you in today's episode how simple it is to elevate a standard cake mix recipe into something tray gourmet. All it takes is some high quality ingredients, a little bit of imagination, and a little bit of flair. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day from the Karen Family.